For every box, we put a Noah's Advantage Project label. It's been an emotional year of lows and highs for the Wilson family. They stand in awe of the influence their son continues to have on the Metro. Noah wanted to help others. He didn't want attention. He would just be, you know, smiling, sort of tucking his, picture his, you know, dip his head down, tuck his eyes down, smile that he used to do. And, um, but we, we just feel so close when we get to do this work and we feel so close to him. And so I, I think he'd, he'd be happy. Most first year 5Ks are lucky to get 500 people to participate. The Wilsons set an aggressive goal of 1,000. They achieved twice that number. Amazed by the support that the community has given us in helping us you know, meet these goals and, and raise money for, for pediatric cancer research. The Wilsons are working with Children's Mercy to establish their first $100,000 research grant. Noah beat his bone cancer, but the treatments caused an aggressive blood cancer that took his life. The Wilsons don't want anyone else to experience that pain. His eyes just lit up and he's like, you know, felt so proud that he could help someone. And to know that he's essentially touched 35,000 kids, you know, uh, at seven years old, <laughs> I think he would just be uh, blown away. Noah's Bandage Project has raised 35,000 boxes of Band-Aids. They get distributed at area hospitals, the Ronald McDonald House, Operation Breakthrough, and others. It all maps back to a little boy who just wanted to help people. And that's what we're trying to do now, just help people. A young man that while he is gone, his legacy of goodness lives on. In Overland Park, Brian Johnson, KMBC 9 News.